Makes sense. Mm -hmm. You're going to find something else to do. You're going to find another shiny object to deal with. Oh, oh, I could just review these measurements because that's probably more important than bothering somebody right now. You, you, you probably don't find yourself saying that exactly, but you subconsciously are doing that. How do you how do you feel about this match? What are your thoughts? No, I mean that's I think it's spot on because for me it's as someone who's constantly busy throughout the day and constantly getting calls from people who are trying to earn my business in in other ways, right? When I'm constantly getting bombarded with calls, that's what I don't want to do to other people, right? Yeah. Because someone who gets those kind of calls is like I don't have time for you. But people that are constantly following up, even despite like me saying, hey, I don't have time for you, like, but they keep calling, like, they end up earning my respect, right? Now, in the right way, right? You don't want to be annoying. You don't want to be like, dude, what the heck, man? I keep calling you. Like, you don't yeah. want to, not be able to say that, but you get my point. You don't want to be the sales guy. You, know, you could do it in a way that, 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 all right, so let's talk about when you do interrupt people, now that you've gotten comfortable. And it's funny because the sales book talks a lot about this, like interrupting and stuff. And then he says, getting yourself to that point where you're willing to make the calls, that's the easy part. Even though we just talked about how hard it is sometimes to get over our own fears, our own emotions, because we feel that way when people do that to us. That's the easy part. The hard part is how to deal with objections and rejection when you get it. When you are interrupting somebody and they make it clear to you that you are in a nice or not a nice way. That's the hard part, is what to do there. So. What are, if we were to make a list of the objections you guys get when you prospect, what are they? I've already got a cabinet company that I work with. Is that it? Anything else? I think that's probably the, huge, the biggest, I would say 80%. Um, any other, I would say, maybe he, a lot of people that I've run into say that they don't have any upcoming jobs where they're doing cabinets specifically, so they'll, they'll give us a call whenever they do run into that. Um, so the, you know, the, a couple of projects they'll start going through, and some people over-explain, some people not really explain at all. But some people will go into depth and say, "I'm only doing a casita and this and this and that. I'm not really into a kitchen right now." But you know, when the time comes, I'll let you know. And so you okay. just kind of have to play. You know, then you kind of sit in the point where you're just like, "Okay, should I set up a follow-up in a month, or should I just let them call you back? They'll probably never call back." So you guys ever get the rejection? Um, I'm too busy right now, or I'm in a meeting. Yeah, okay. I'm running into a meeting. Mine are different because you're probably not doing tons of prospecting. They're doing all the prospecting that you've done. Yeah, I mean, both of those, right? I've got a cabinet supplier, but that's an easy one to overcome. Right. The I don't have any upcoming jobs because that's where you have to be like following up consistently. Hey, like, mm -hmm. you know, we talked. What's your before. goal with that kind of person? I mean, your goal. I think your goal. have a job. I think yeah. Your goal is to develop a relationship with them. It's that, and it's to figure out. Your goal is to meet them. with them in person. Okay. Honestly, that that is your goal is to have a relationship with them. Ignore cabinets for a second. Become friends and have a relationship with them. Friends is a strong word. Like, don't go to the movies together, right? Don't borrow their car. Yeah. Um, friends is a strong word, but. You guys get my point. Your goal, if somebody truly doesn't have a job, is to develop some type of relationship so that when they do have a job, they will call you. If that is a true objection, it might not be a real objection. Mm -hmm. You guys follow me? Mm -hmm. So there's three types of objections that he talks about. Reflexive, um, which is a reflex. I do this when I walk in, and you guys probably do it in your daily lives with sales calls. One of my sales calls that I get that I notice that I use all the time is, hey, I'm in a meeting, I accidentally answered my phone, I'm so sorry, can you call me back in a couple hours? I mean, a guy just called me this morning and I, I didn't even put two and two together until I'm sitting here. This guy's been following up with me weekly. He's from India and he's kind of hard to understand and yada, 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 but he wants to help us do our QuickBooks. And I'm preparing for the sales meeting and he calls me and interrupts me and I didn't even put two and two together. Isn't that crazy? And my reflex was, hey, I'm going to be in meetings for another three hours. Can you call me back in three hours? Just reflex. Like it was just, I'm so patterned when I'm not in the mode right then and there to just reflex a things. What's another example of reflex objections that you guys get or give in your in your daily lives or with cabinets? I know it's not a good time. It's just a reflex, it's a pattern, right? Yeah. Think about it when you walk into a store and you're looking around and a sales rep comes up to you. What's reflex? Oh, I'm okay, I don't need any help. Yeah, oh, I'm just looking. 
right? Mm -hmm. That is a reflex answer, it's a reflex objection. And guess what? I can't tell you how many times I've said that when it's like, wait a second, why did I say that? I actually need help. Like I have a question, but I just reflex came out while I'm just looking. No, wait, hold on one second. Actually, where are the computers? I don't know. <laughs> you know, it's just you, th that's what I mean by reflex. There's no emotion behind it. It's so logical for people to reflex, say things without even thinking about why they're saying it. Okay.